use him like a lab rat. Judy and the neat freak dad at home is super busy mom. Judy, what if the boy's best friend is a talking dog? Three string jeans in an air breathing shark. Mega action game controller skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Good idea. What other things are we testing this week? Whatever this test is, I am <laughs> not into it! <clears throat> How did I get turned into a worm? We're not sure. <laughs> Would you believe it wasn't my fault? Okay, real lava in Johnny's volcano science project, hey. bad. Well, Johnny, you've had quite the interesting and destructive week. Seemed normal to me. Giant head, searing lava, worm boy, and my social studies project from another dimension. Wait, what was that last one? Stop it! Don't let it get away! How is this a social studies project? We are not doing good with the experiments this week. Johnny, it's been my experience that when boys act out like this, it's a cry for attention. Perhaps your father isn't spending enough quality time with you. I don't think that's it. Well, I do! So, I'm recommending that you and your father go camping this weekend to bond, get closer, and feel loved. My whole weekend camping? How will I play video games or microwave pizza? And frankly, nature is too itchy and quiet. That's the point. A weekend without overstimulation with just your dad. How about I write on the chalkboard a million times, I promise not to, blah, 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 blah. Have your father sign this confirmation sheet. And I want you to bring me a pine cone from a gray spruce as proof that you're wet. Or I will kick you out of the school! What's the punishment this time? I have to go camping with Dad because they think I'm seeking attention. <laughs> Camping? Yeah, doggy not going with you. I'm not going either. I bet Dad hates camping too since he's never taken us. So I'll get Mary and Susan to engineer a pine cone and robot Dad to sign this confirmation slip. Then it's microwave pizza and gaming all weekend long. Huh? The car's all packed, son. If your counselor says you need to go camping, then we're going camping. Whoa, didn't see that coming. I got the whole weekend planned. Bird watching, mm -hmm. making tiny historic figures out of acorns, mm -hmm. using leaves for toilet paper, <laughs> and no video games or microwave pizza. No! Don't worry, I have a plan. What are we gonna do with him now that the dimension rift closed before we could send him back? And he seems too enraged to release here on Earth. I have to go on a school order camping trip with Dad, so I need something that will turn Dookie into a monster so we can scare Dad out of the woods and back home. What? Why do I have to be the monster? Because you're hairy, you got sharp teeth, and I don't want to miss my weekend! Make Dookie a monster? Johnny, we've got our hands full with this thing. <laughs> But it's your fault that I have to do this. All those things you made me test this week. Did I complain? No. Now, I have to give up a weekend of my boyhood. A weekend I won't be able to look back at fondly one day as the weekend I got a high score. Or sick on microwave pizza because my sisters, who I love... Okay, okay, well, help! <laughs> Say hello to the MM6000, better known as the Monster Maker 6000. It turns anything into a monster. And a second blast turns the mess. Hey, wait a minute. Darn it! I guess it doesn't work on.
Pokemon monsters from the fifth dimension. It's beautiful. You're not really gonna give him that, are you? Did you hear the speech? It was one of his best. <laughs> the plan's simple. We go camping, I turn you into a monster. Or not. Dad freaks out, then shouts, get back in the car. I grab a pine cone, then we come home and party all weekend long. I'm not going camping, and no speech is gonna change my mind. <laughs> You're getting really good at your speeches. No, oh, we're gonna have a ton of fun camping, Johnny. In fact, I bet the weekend will fly by. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. And about a lot of manuals to help us have the time of our lives, like this how to put up a tent manual. Yeehee! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, stupid tent! Thank you! Oh, I can do this. <laughs> no! It bit me! The tent just bit me! Hey, Dad, I'll go out to the car and get the food. <laughs> I'll have this whole thing done when you get back. <laughs> and we'll have this whole camping thing done when we get back. Ah, oh, they want some food. Oh, oh, we should give them a little taste. Give them all of it. No one pizza in the whole box. Now, it's Monster Dookie time. Yeah, but, but I don't want to be zapped with... Whew, yeah, that's good. <sighs> now you go scare my dad back to the car while I look for this stupid pine cone. Say what? What if your dad freaks out and tries to attack me? What? You're a big, scary woods monster. Who's gonna attack you? <laughs> see that coming either. What's that? What's that scary noise? A monster just took Dookie, who I turned into a monster to scare you so we could go home because I hate camping, and now I really hate it because a monster just took Dookie! Okay, okay. Uh, how about if we go home and get you a new dog? <laughs> I knew that was a long shot. Okay, I have a tracking manual. We'll track Dookie and rescue him with the help of my camping rescue manual and my survival manual and my... Or we could turn ourselves into monsters and battle the woods monster to the doom. Let's call that plan B. Move out! He's being kissed. Ooh, now she's feeding him strawberries. And you and your sisters are in big trouble when we get back for using a monster maker. Ooh, now she's kissing him again. Ew, gross. I'm never doing that. Yeah, you will. And I never thought I'd say this, but blast us with your monster maker and let's save your dog! <laughs> yeah, I might have said that too loud. The monster maker! Run! <laughs> Get it before it falls over the edge! Oh, this is bad. Oh, man, I hate camping! Ah! Run, dog, run! <laughs> Quick! Dad. <laughs> That's Monster Dog for We're Doomed. <laughs> it's the chipmunks I gave all our food to. What? I mean, the chipmunks that took the food from the car. Bad chipmunks! Woof. Okay, now that that's over, let's get the heck out of here! <laughs> oh, she's not mean, she's just lonely. I wish there was something we could do. I got an idea! Let's hope this works! I 
think it's working. Even though I'm gonna do my best to wipe most of this camping trip from my memory, I'm glad we had a chance to bond, son. Me too, Dad. Actually, Dad, it was a chance for all of us to bond. You're all grounded, by the way. Yeah, we figured. This is gonna be so good. Donnie, can you test the... Good. <laughs> Sorry, Psycho Sisters. That was meant to mess up my talking mutt. Laters! Ah! <laughs> I have returned, Johnny Test, and revenge will be mine! Hmm? Ah, water! <laughs> Sorry, Mittens. That was meant for, uh, Johnny. Woohoo! Susan Test and capture her heart. I... Oh, I, uh, I guess I could eat one of these hot dogs that were carelessly left on the counter. <laughs> this isn't ketchup! It's hot sauce, and those are for breaking Dookie, not eating, Eugene. You got caught in the crossfire, the prank war between me and Johnny. Whoever gets pranked first is a super loser, and the survivor wins the first ever super duper pranking world super cup. I'm gonna win it. No, I am. The super duper pranking world super cup? That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. I want it. Me too. Us too. <laughs> me too. I was quite the prankster on Vigandon. Did you say prank? <laughs> We're in two! Were you spying on us? All the time. But what matters is, this is a weak trophy! Anyone else want in? Come in! And me! <laughs> what can I say? Mole kings love a good dirty prank! Get it? Mole? Dirt? <laughs> it wasn't that funny. Now, since I'm the general, I now declare prank war on all of you! Move out! <laughs> Broken window? I'm taking this. What is going on? Who built a window? Susan and Mary. Love you, Dad! Turbo Jet Blaster? Check. Feathers and rubber gloves? Check. And remember our deal. We team up and eliminate everyone else first, then we battle each other to win the Super Cup. Move out! Wait! Check the hallway. <laughs> Wow, I actually expected more from him. Great mother! That was so uncool. The cup will be ours! Eugene, what is going on? Now we're sort of having a prank war to win this cup thing, and I just lost, thank you! A prank war? <laughs> I dig a giant hole, leafy grass over it, then one by one, everyone falls into my trap and I win the cup! <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> All's fair in pranks and war! Well played, Johnny Test. If you get pranked, come over. I'll, I'll make toast. Okay, so you know my sisters are gonna team up to eliminate the field, including us. Which is why we are going to team up till we're the only ones left. Then we'll have a manly battle for the cup. It's an attack! Yeah. You missed. Yes, I know! Then what do I have here? <laughs> I will win the cup! Pretty! Oh, 
Marbles, silly and slippery, and guaranteed to bring me victory. What was that noise? <laughs> Ow! Darn it, Hugh! That was meant for Johnny! Or the girls, or that talking cat, or, or black and white. But not you! I will win the cup! I gotta stop this prank war before it destroys my home! Super Prank Dad! Wait till they get a load of me! <laughs> New secret weapon inside? Open to see Susan and Mary's latest invention. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't believe he's hell for that. Huh, pies are the way to go. They're just messy, pranky fun. <laughs> Very impressive, Johnny, and darn it! Your consolation prize, General? All right, don't push it, Johnny. Johnny, girls! I know there's a prank war going on, and nobody comes into my house and messes it! No one! Okay, the General, Vegan, Eugene, and Zizrar are out. Which means we still have to take out Susan, Mary, Mr. Black, Mr. White, and Mittens. But your dad is really mad, and we only have two pies left. Which is why we're gonna sit this round out. Get down. Wait until they get a load of Super Kitty Prankster! <laughs> Robo Buzzer Hand! Gooey String, go! The Super Duper Pranking World Super Cup will be... Whoa. Whoa. Scratching post! Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful! Now! Now! They, they got the general with pies, and Susan and Mary just nailed mittens. Who's left? Me, Dookie, the girls, Mr. Black, and Mr. White. Oh, don't worry about Black and White. They'll cancel each other out any second. Ha! You fell into my trap. You fell into my trap. <laughs> okay, that means only my sisters are left. what they're packing, but you guys, they're toast. Good. Did someone say toast? Emergency escape plan number 39. Look, it's Gil! <gasps> Where? <laughs> Johnny! <laughs> ah, Susan, I'm ready to receive your ah, prank of love. Ew. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. Come on! I need some real weapons, ladies! I like the Rooster Blasters. Yeah, they're pranky and fun! We need more pies, pronto! We make them, splat the girls, and we battle for the cup. Put the pies down! <laughs> Woof. Dad, you don't know what you're getting into. The girls will be here any minute, and... Super duper prankster with the rooster blasters, huh? Huh? There, the pies are down. Now, you wouldn't blast your unarmed son, would you? You feeling lucky? <laughs> oh, sounds like the girls won. The prank war is over. I want you all off my property or I will blast all of you! <laughs> Tell Susan I love her! So who won? Out! You are all banished to your rooms until I say otherwise for messing up the entire house that I spent all day cleaning! Sorry, Dad. Won't happen again. You win. No more prank war. Wait! That's right! I did it! <laughs> The Super Duper Pranking World Super Cup is mine! Woohoo! I 
guess I'll be, uh, <coughs> cleaning up the mess. It was just supposed to be the two of us, and they all ruined it. Well, we still have our pies. Bring it, dog! Oh, you know I will! Requests. Let's just do this. Ready, <laughs> set, Pinata Gauntlet! <laughs> Take that! <laughs> How'd I do? Eh, better than last time. <laughs> okay, it finally happened. We've been abducted by aliens! Test. Yeah? Oh, wow, are we glad to see you. Hey, uh, you guys want some pork chops? I usually make it a rule that I accept flying pork from strangers in space robes, but hey, why not? You guys don't have any floating applesauce, do you? We are the Rib-Eye Knights, protectors of all things meat-related in the Tri-Tip Galaxy. And we need your help, Johnny Test. You are our only hope. He's your only hope? So, how do you meet guys know who I am? Everybody knows about the great and powerful Johnny Test. You're the only warrior to ever defeat the evil one. Dark Vegan? He's the evil one? We've been spying on him for months. We're not sure how. But we know that he's planning to destroy our homeworld, then it's Sirloin of the Salisbury Nebula. He wants to rid our galaxy of meat. No ribeye knight has ever been able to defeat him, which is why we've called on you, Johnny the Chosen One. Okay, first of all, awesome! Second, are you sure you got the right guy? He's kind of harmless, hangs out on Earth eating toast. I see him like every day walking his dog. Good! Then you won't mind going to his house and destroying him with your Johnny powers. And just so we know you succeeded, bring us his helmet! I'm not doing that. Uh, how about one of his boots? No. An old magazine he read then. Wow, Dark Vegan's basement. That was fast. Kind of cozy down here. Yeah, I guess, in a creepy crazy man tinkering in the basement sort of way. Oh, hi, Johnny. Uh, I mean... Johnny Test! How did you manage to find my forbidden basement of doom? Right. The meat dudes think you're trying to destroy their planet. I will destroy their planet, and I will destroy you too, Johnny Test! You will bow before my vegan powers, you will tremble before my... Ooh, toast is ready. I'm working on unlocking the secret to perfect toast. Oh, why can't I make toast? Cool, light stick. No, oh, it's new. I'm deadly. <laughs> no more wasting time tinkering with toast in my basement. It's time to go back into outer space and destroy planet Sirloin. Those meat eaters really chop my chuck. Wait, what did all that do? Look, Johnny, it's been months since I spread terror throughout the galaxy, and I'm cranky. Destroying a planet will help me blow off some steam, all right? <laughs> to introduce Planet Sirloin to my Deathcraft. So, Deathcrafts are bad, right? Yes, Johnny, Deathcrafts are bad. Chosen One, Talking Dog. Meat Man, Other Meat Man, hit me with something lamic. <laughs> Do you have the helmet? I mean, magazine. No, but you were right. He's kind of sort of on his way to your meat planet in his Deathcraft. Deathcraft? Why didn't you stop him with your Johnny powers? What makes you think I have Johnny powers? You're the chosen one who defeated Dark Vegan. I guess we just assumed. Mm. Yeah, there's your first mistake. Mm. Attention, tracking Dark Vegan Staffcraft. Destination, Planet Sirloin in two hours. Oh, we're running out of time. It sounds like if we're going to stop Dark Vegan, we'll have to train Johnny in the ways of the ribeye. Johnny, my lady stick. Uh, 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 not until you've earned one. To the Tri-Tip Galaxy! Welcome to Planet Sirloin of the Salisbury Nebula. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 
going to have to train you quickly if you're going to become a true ribeye knight. So you'll be learning from our oldest, wisest, and wrinkliest knight, Sir Wellington of Beef. This ground is made of meat? The whole planet is made of meat, and that swamp water is gravy. Well, old friend, it's been nice knowing you. I'm gonna turn into out-of-control Crazy Dookie now! <laughs> so, you're the chosen one, hmm? Whoa. Let us see if you have the concentration of a ribeye knight. It is time to run the Vignotta Gauntlet! <laughs> How'd I do? Better than last time. I'm sorry, but it's useless trying to train him in the ways of a knight. It's hard to believe this boy is the chosen one who defeated Dark Vegan. Attention, Dark Vegan will be here in one hour. Can we snap him up? The snarky computer's right. Your stupid training takes too long. <laughs> Can we do this any faster? Well, um... Here we do have the old ribeye projector that can temporarily give you our powers in seconds. But that rusty old thing hasn't worked in years. And will not, unless you know somebody who can repair overly complicated alien machinery. I think I know two somebodies. Basket of gills, favorite cupcakes, check. Stack of gills, favorite movies, check, check. <laughs> Cupcakes, movies. Thanks, girls have never met. Want to come in? Come in? Your house? <sighs> <sighs> Hello, sisters that I love. Johnny, this better be good. It is, Earth Girls. It is. Mm. There. Hopefully that will get this thing working. Is this going to hurt? With any luck, yes. You ruined our Gil Cupcake date! I still feel like me. How do we know if it worked? Hey, what the heck are you saying? It worked! Whoa! Now to complete your initiation, you must use your powers to cook the steak with your light stick. <laughs> <laughs> he did it! Yes, the sacred ritual is complete. You are now a temporary ribeye knight. Attention, Vegan will be here in two minutes. Hmm? He's here! Oh, my bad. Ribeye knights, prepare to experience the full cookifying power of my death craft. I'm going to turn your meat planet into, well, toast! It is up to you now, young Test. Why just me? These guys have ribeye powers too, right? Whoa, don't look at us. That guy's scary. <laughs> and very rude, I might add. All right, fine. Beam us to the Deathcraft and we'll try to stop him. Will there be meat on the Deathcraft? Hmm? No, just fruits and veggies. I'm good. <laughs> and now to cookify the planet. All right, vegan. Let's see if you can stand up to a John I Knight. Oh, hi, Johnny. You won't stop my plans this time, Johnny Test. Huh? Hey. Nice form. Pinata gauntlet? Yep. Terrific. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Test and anything else in my path. Dude, what are you so angry about? All I wanted was perfect toast. Why does making toast have to be so hard? I know the secret to perfect toast. You do? Use your cool levitating powers and grab your awesome light stick. Okay, I'm with you. And voila! Perfect toast! <laughs> So crispy, so crunchy. This toast is is perfect. Perfect enough to quit trying to cookify the planet? Yeah, I'm good. Sorry about that. Hey, what are you doing just standing here? Perfect toast like this calls for a celebration. More toast, Wellington. Lay it on this, string bean. Mm. 
This is amazing. So you sure I can't keep the light stick? It's so cool. Now that your powers have worn off, let's see how you do against a gauntlet. I'll do this, baby. No problem. <laughs> How'd I do? Better than last time. Wonder what's frozen in here. <laughs> Get to Pork Belly, my true love, Johnny Tess. Super Smarty Pants? What are you? I obey my Smarty Pants. Johnny, what are you doing in here? I'm working on something. Why are you using our sewing machine? Because I have a genius brain now and a genius plan. Wow, weird looking bedhead. It's not bedhead. My brain's growing at an incredible rate. See? I'm almost afraid to ask, but how is your brain growing? My super smarty pants. No! The super smarty pants! That's right, they're back and more stylish than ever. Look at the way they accentuate my... But didn't we seal them in a metal tube and drop them at the North Pole? Yep, but thankfully their undying love for me kept them warm. And now they're stronger and making me smarter with every second that passes. They actually look good on him. <laughs> what? You realize those are the same pants that tried to kill us all? just a misunderstanding. A lover's quarrel. Things are different now. How are they different? Well, for starters, this. Yeah! Now, with my super smarty ensemble, I will finally achieve super duper 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 smarts, and nothing can stop me! <laughs> okay, I'm thinking we should do something about this. Like what? Like. Something sciency. Clearly, the pants have corrupted Johnny's brain and brainwashed him, and there's a good chance he's smarter than us now! There's my bus. Gotta go. Can anyone tell me what 567 plus 687 equals? 1,254. That's, uh, correct. Johnny, something seems different about you today. Did you get a haircut? Are you taller? Collagen injection? No, no, and again, no. I'm the same old Johnny, except a whole lot smarter. Really? Well then, what's the planet Neptune's atmosphere made of? Where does quartz fall in the lowest scale of hardness? What's the most popular pizza topping? They would see in the moon. And what's the pressure ratio at the deepest point of the Mariana Trench? Hydrogen, helium, and methane, seven pepperoni, tranquility, and eight tons per square inch. I never, ever, 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 not in a million years thought I'd tell you this. But Johnny, you're too smart for this school. And we need to transfer that magnificent brain where it'll be appreciated. Johnny, you are certainly following in some pretty big footsteps. I don't believe this. Mary and Susan are the top minds in the entire school. That's why I let them sit in the front of the class. Not back there with the wannabes. So I guess they figured out this equation then? Of course not. That equation has been on the board for six years. If no one has even come close to getting the correct... Eight. The answer is eight. That's correct! <laughs> How did you... It's easy once you realize that A over C equals X, then divide X by the weight of a neutron, add the circumference of the sun in millimeters, then subtract the weight of a hummingbird's eyelash and carry the four. Hey! Back of the class with you! The front row is where my new genius protege will sit. <laughs> Our little brother? Smarter than us? This can't be happening! <laughs> oh, but it is. Winning the Science Project Award is in the bag this year. Ready to launch! Fire! Welcome, scientists of the world! We have with us tonight this year's most exciting breakthrough in gene splicing! You're on, Johnny. <laughs> Way ahead of you. Shh, quick, hide! 
I'm gonna soak it. The water will short circuit the dangerous dungarees and zip zap zippity zap bye bye super booby pants. Aha! Gotcha! No, I got you. <laughs> I love my smarty pants, and nothing can separate us. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to outsmart him. I want my old Johnny back. To the lab! That is it. We've gotta get those pants off Johnny. It's super duper pants sucking vacuum time. I don't know what that means, but I like the sound of it. Huh? Ah! Get him! You will never get my pants. Don't let him get away! We had a feeling you'd try something like this. Run! We've got bowling balls! Move on to Plan B, a laser-powered fabric-destroying ray. So long, smarty pants! <laughs> okay, Plan C. We shrink the suit using our customized washing and drying super pool. Time to shrink, super smarty pants! We knew you guys would try the old washer and dryer trick. So we added a few cycles. Flushing dog now. Dog spin cycle. <laughs> I hate the spin cycle! Super dryer on. Don't say it. Okay, plan J. Actually, I think we're on plan K. Fine, plan K! We create a teleport device that. No! No more plans! He's too smart! And I'm too hurt. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe we'll just have to learn to live with the new big-headed Johnny and his new pants and his new better-than-you attitude who's smarter than us and... and... I can't do it! I can't live with him smarter than us! Me neither! There's gotta be a way to get those pants off him! Yeah, I want my old Johnny back! <laughs> old Johnny, that's it! Dookie, you're a genius! <laughs> X-ray binoculars, there's still a piece of Johnny's brain that the pants left uncorrupted. Right, because if the pants took over his whole brain, there'd be no part of Johnny for it to love. Dookie, since you and Johnny spend so much time together, there's no one that knows him better and loves him more. So it's up to you to get through to the old Johnny and convince him to claim his brain back and break free from the Smarty Pants microfiber brainwashing. Don't worry, ladies. You got nothing to worry about. I don't want to cause trouble, I just want to talk. What do you want, dog? Johnny, I know you're still in there. And if you can hear me, this is your best friend, Dookie. The dog you saved from the pound. Oh, that's right, I'm admitting it. You saved me from the pound. Remember me? We've been together for years, but surprisingly haven't aged very much. We've battled mole people at the center of the earth, traveled to the moon. You once didn't bathe for an entire week just for me. We've been shrunk, faced armies and robots. Oh, and you were a princess for a day. You're my Johnny X, and I'm... I'm your super pooch! And I'm begging you, Johnny! Fight it! Fight the pants! Their love isn't real! Uh. It's working! I know you can hear me! I love you, Johnny! I love you! Free. Johnny, you're back! So are the pants! Johnny, on the count of three, grab Dookie and roll free of the Super Smarty suit! And we'll vacuum it up in our anti-Smarty Pants Super Sucker Upper Unit. One, two, three! <laughs> that are uh, more uh, smarter uh, um, than your smartness in uh, uh, your face! Yeah, nice one! The old Johnny is back. Welcome back, little brother. And now we'll use the rocket I made when I was smart to get Super Smarty Pants a new home! On the moon! Oh, yeah. This is Moon Mission 9, all's clear, opening hatch now. Hey, what's with the pants? Uh, what? 
It's going to be cold today, Johnny, so I got you a new winter jacket. Oh, I am not wearing that. They're predicting a harsh winter, and I don't need my son freezing at the bus stop, getting hypothermia, and then living in a box the rest of his life. You're paranoid, Mom, and I am not wearing that jacket! I hate my new jacket. Try to focus on the positive aspects of the coat, like you're not cold or you're a human airbag. Kids are gonna laugh at me. Think positive thoughts. Push <laughs> <Stop. laughs> I hate this cold! Hey, Dookie! <laughs> you need a what? A new suburban weapon thingy that can protect the general public in case there's an alien robot attack from outer space. <laughs> you know there's never been an alien robot attack from outer space ever in the history of the world. Oh, so you can say for certain that it'll never, ever happen. Ever. Uh... We didn't think so. And if you help us, the government will throw you a gill-tastic tea party. Complete with gill plates, gill napkins, and gill... <laughs> I hate this jacket! Help? Perfect. Johnny Test cannot defend himself because of his ridiculous winter jacket. I will finally have my revenge! <laughs> What's with the extension cord? I have to plug it in now because the battery is shot and it's not like I can buy a replacement on there, so roll them out closer so I can destroy you. Forget it. I will have my revenge! Now! I am never wearing that jacket again. Hey, Dookie! Uh, um, uh... These designs will have civilians in fear. I want the public to not even notice our agents are wearing a weapon. It should be subtle and stylish. Stylish? Kinda like you're not wearing the ultimate alien destroying weapon. Hmm. Great. We'll be back in the morning. Mom, I kinda lost my jacket. But I found it. I'm not wearing that. Come on. <laughs> Is it me, or did this jacket get even heavier? Oh, it's a nice winter jacket. And again, try and remember the positives. <laughs> Rough. Did I miss Johnny? I got a longer extension cord, and I was really looking forward to destroying him. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny's wearing the weapon. It was the only thing puffy enough that we could hide the rocketry and suburban weapons in. Okay, I'm starting to like the jacket. And I love it. Girls, I want 700 suburban super jackets pronto. Johnny, take off the jacket so we can make some modifications. Yeah, I'll be right back. How long do you think you'll be gone? Hard, Hard to say. say. It's Johnny! Hey! The test is still wearing that stupid jacket! <laughs> <laughs> And so, science class, the quicker I light the Bunsen burner, the quicker we'll finish class. Need a light? Thanks, Johnny. <coughs> Big pile on Johnny! Okay, the jacket 
is officially cool. Hey, has anyone seen Johnny? I want to destroy him. We're waiting! And I need that jacket! What if there was an alien robot attack from outer space right now? General, there will never, ever be an alien robot attack. Crush! Defeat! Destroy! Now, do you believe us? Run! <laughs> what are alien robots doing here? Yeah, they might be after me. What? They're Antirian robots. I sort of took over their world once, and they're still holding a grudge. I need more winter attack jackets now! We only made one! Crush, defeat, destroy! No space robots will ever come to Earth, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Help! We have begun. While we're here, we should take over this world. Of course. Did I miss something? Alien robots dark napped vegan, and now they're gonna take over our world! But Johnny's jacket can save us! Quick, boys, better get it! It's too small! It was just a prototype! Yeah, Will! Johnny's gotta fight them! There! World saved! Say what? How am I gonna be four alien robots? I'm one ten-year-old boy with an admittedly cool coat! Yeah, there are some other special features in the jacket. Just read this manual. Him? Read a manual? Fine, I'll put it in verbal command mode. Just tell the jacket what to do. Uh, fly down, down, battle mode. Downtown, where we're under attack from alien robots from outer space! Oh, somebody help us! Stop right there, alien robots from outer space! Wow, Johnny got there fast! Let's talk about this! But I'm a changed man. I have to plug in my weapons now. <laughs> Okay, I might have deserved that. Crush! Defeat! Destroy! Look! The cool jacketed hero is back to save us! All right, alien robots, let's dance! Now, he's dancing in a goofy-looking jacket! I don't literally mean dancing, I mean... I if you save me, I promise not to attack you. And I'll open a bakery where I'll give you free donuts for life. Deal. Crush, defeat, destroy. Save big in mode. Blaster mode. How many Antirians are left? Two. Okay, I hope I have another cool jacket mode. Maxo Antirian robot mode. Oh, I forgot they could do that. I'm out of here. Hey, Gankerman again saying the kid of the dumb but sometimes cool winter jacket and all of us are doomed! Destroy Earthling in dumb winter jacket! Deflect it and deflect the deadly blast and I leave and that thing doesn't move, please! We're saved! Yeah! Jacket. So are we! <laughs> More aliens? Did someone send out invitations? <laughs> no, yeah. I also sort of made some enemies from Scorpionis. Head over, Clark Vegan! Told you alien robots could attack! We know! Here we go again, Mode.
With this new invention, Johnny, you'll have the arm strength of a hundred men and reflexes faster than a mosquito. I didn't even know mosquitoes had fast reflexes. Now, grab that 500-pound weight over there. Uh, I guess this is cool, but you know what would be cooler? A key that could open every lock in the city. Huh? Who's with me? Ooh, he's right. That would be cool. Hey, giant metamorphic super arms are cool. They can help firemen rescue people and help police catch bad guys. Can I throw a car? Go nuts. Just write down all test results on this chart. And keep it low key. The SSGA has been spying lately to make sure our experiments are only used for good. Hey, <laughs> just two men drinking coffee sitting in a tree. We're not spying or anything. Hey! We've also added a hydraulic house version of the super arm. Observe. Yeah, this can't be good. After one hour with the giant metamorphic super arms, I'm bored. Bored. Got it. Anything else? Yes, I wish I was testing a super key that could open everything instead. Help! My baby! can catch a baby from a burning building while saving it from getting hit by a car. All good uses. And hopefully put out this fire with one giant clap. You saved me, flame-headed boy with large arms. In recognition of your heroism and, oh, and uh, giant hands and arms, it is my honor as mayor of Pork Belly to present you this key. To the city! Awesome! That means I can open every door and lock in Pork Belly? Uh, oh, uh, no, uh, I'm afraid not, Johnny. You mean this thing can't open the amusement park or zoo or candy store? It's a ceremonial key. It, it doesn't open anything. Hmm. What a rip! A key to the city that doesn't open anything. <laughs> Waste of metal is what it is. But wouldn't it be great if there was a key like that? A key that could open everything? <laughs> Forget it, Johnny. But is it possible that a scientist or a pair of scientists or awesome twin sisters could invent something so amazing? Hmm. It's possible. And is it possible that this key could open anything? Maybe even Gil's heart? <laughs> I get to try it first because it was my idea. Fine! And we approve! As long as the key is used only for good. Oh. Man, this lab has everything. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> that can open any lock, anywhere, anytime. Cricket Boy Super Key! <laughs> Remember, you cannot use this to invade people's privacy, take things that do not belong to you, or go to places you should not be. There's only one lock I want to open, and the stuff inside belongs to me. <laughs> um, this is your mom and dad's room. I know, and inside that closet is my stuff they've confiscated from me over the years. But now, I just put this key in, and... <laughs> it's beautiful. And it's all mine. Again! Ah, mm. ah, nothing like three-year-old Halloween candy, I always say. And I got my roller skates back. <laughs> when you think about it, this key really is a key to the city. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yep. That's what I'm thinking. An amusement park all to ourselves! Uh, we need to get some money. You gotta love the key. Love the key. Mwah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs>
We might have gone a little too far with the key thing. You don't suppose there were cameras at the other places too, do you? A real life key to the city. That's what everyone's talking about today in Pork Belly. It seems a boy and his dog have just that. A key that opens everything. Are you nuts? <laughs> we left all the money at the bank. Except what this smorgasbord cost. This report is all over town. Now everyone in this town is going to want that key. Don't be ridiculous. That is not everyone in town. Where is it? This old sweater trunk has been locked ever since I lost the key years ago. Now it's everyone in town. I need that key. Run, right? Oh, I don't. Super Escape Tree coming up. I hate that key. Get that key! <laughs> how do we just survive that? Uh, how are we gonna survive the entire town after us? Easy. We got the perfect place to hide. A super secret government base that only top military brass and we can get into. Okay, we're safe from the mob, but what about the military? Give me the key, Johnny! They can be used to unlock the secrets of our enemies! Move run the other way! We told you to use that key for good! And you were bad. Only get out in this room! No, no! Don't open that! No! That's one initiated. That's okay. He's a good robot, right? Right? Cancel task one! Cancel task one! Right? Uh, actually, he was designed to stop the girls if they ever, you know, use their inventions for evil. So where's he going? To your house to destroy the lab and everything in it. That's task one? To destroy our lab? How could you do that? We didn't. We were about to disassemble it, but you had to open the door labeled Keep Out. Ooh, point taken. Hey, you're totally safe as long as you're not in the lab. Your dad, on the other hand. Do the tricks! We gotta destroy that thing before it destroys the lab. And dad! We'll stop him with our $10 billion super duper super tanks. And now I can uh, just find the key. That'll work. Target test house. Objective annihilation. Save your dad! Oh, I hate it when the town attacks and doesn't clean up. <laughs> Target test house. Objective annihilation. Yeah, not so fast, giant metal robot soldier! I said not so fast! Oh, darn! I really thought the giant hands were gonna work. Any other way I can stop this thing? Just thinking. Well, there is a panel on the back of his neck. It sets up a turbo sleep mode. But we don't have a key. Have you even been following this story? Mm-hmm. How many times do I have to tell you, kids? Don't make a mess in the lab. Huh? Ah! Best lab penetrate the begin annihilation. Um, help! Hey, Dad. <laughs> Annihilation Thermometer. Dad, are you okay? <laughs> He'll be fine. And so will Pork Belly once we eliminate this key to the city. We're taking it back to Area 51.1 to destroy it. This way, it'll never fall into the wrong hands again. Hank Anchorman here, saying the mystery key to the city is still out there. After these surveillance photos were taken of these men opening doors and locks all over Port Belly. I knew it! If anyone knows the whereabouts of that key, please tell me. I gotta have it! Johnny! Did you take our handheld time hurdler? Hmm? Nope. Hmm. Dinosaurs, here we come! <laughs> Johnny! Did you take our thermal nuclear banana of mass destruction? No. I thought it was 
a normal banana, and I was saving it for a snack. Well, it's a very bad banana. Now get rid of it. Okay. No! Johnny! Did you take our human animal converter? No. Why do you always think it's me anyway? Maybe Dad took your human animal thingy, and he's that squirrel right over there. Hey, Dad! See? He looked. The squirrel looked because you yelled at it. It would look up no matter what you yelled. Turtle harmonica! See? We don't have any proof, but we know it was you. <sighs> Your sisters seem pretty mad, Johnny. Maybe you should take a break from borrowing their stuff. Why? You heard them. They have no proof. Humanimal converter? You bet. So, we just knock on Gil's door and ask him to lunch? It's the one thing we've never tried. Oh, I guess we're too smart for our own good sometimes. After lunch, we'll come back and test the Thought Control Levitation Board. Hmm, thought Control Levitation Board. Sounds like something we should be the ones to test first. The lab! The lab's this way. Ah, there it is. We'll have it back before they even get home. Yeah, I don't know, Johnny. Something doesn't feel right. Every day. What? I don't lie to you every day. Oh, please. That's why we've been working on the Mouth of True 300. A device that will produce a small neural modification, enhancing the brain and forcing someone to always tell the truth. We couldn't think of a better test subject. Installing Mouth of True 300. Well, that wasn't so bad. Is he still lying? Johnny, smash this face. Okay, who broke the vase? Wasn't me. <sighs> Still lying. Didn't work. Yes, it did. Hmm? I broke the vase. Huh? Hmm. Okay, just for the record, I did not say that. He's right. <laughs> I did. Okay, that's super weird. Somehow we hyper magnified his truth telling self, but failed to mute his lying one. Now he sort of has two mouths the mouth of truth, that's me, and the mouth of. Regular line, Johnny. I'm right here. I can hear you. And since the truth is stronger than a lie, it pushed itself to the surface so it could be heard. You know, you guys aren't always as smart as you think. <laughs> Ooh, sting. Oh, sure, 90% of the time with sciencey stuff you're smart. But you're not smart enough to realize there's only one Gil and two of you. And you both can't have him. You know that, right? I would have never said that to you. Oh, sure, I might think it, but I'd never say it. Why not? It's the truth, and they wanted the truth. You shut up! You shut up! Yeah. Ow! Ow! And now it's getting weirder. Ugh, the truth hurts. You can say that again. And the truth is ugly. Hey! You're supposed to be my best friend and have my back. Because let's not forget, I rescued you from the pound. I'm sorry, you guys. I can't stop him from saying that stuff. What are we gonna do? Let's get Johnny back in the chamber and reverse the process so we can get rid of that second mouth. Now that's just creepy. Liar's in the back. You cannot silence me! The truth shall be heard! Didn't see that coming. Ten thousand dollars is a small price to pay for such an artistic masterpiece. His minimalist style speaks volumes. Yeah, volumes of bark. <laughs> it's a yellow block on a white canvas. You could buy that in any kindergarten in the city for a buck. Mm. You know, that flame-headed boy is right. Then I can save myself all this money. <laughs> It. It's really cool. Stop lying! I'm so not lying! The truth is a monkey could have painted that. The truth is now you're lying! A monkey couldn't paint that! Okay, I stand corrected. It's just that the bear looks so sad. <laughs> it's nothing to worry about. The animals enjoy being in their cages. It's actually better and safer for them in there than living in the wild. No, it isn't. You are lying. Would you like to be stuck in one all day? They should be free to live their lives just like you are. Ain't that the truth? Set them free! <laughs> 
Okay, we're free, but Two Mouth Johnny is free in Pork Belly somewhere. And the Pork Belly traffic camera system hasn't been able to locate Two Mouth Johnny anywhere. Hank Anchorman with an emergency broadcast. Stay in your homes! The zoo animals have been released from their cages and are running amok in the city! It's extremely dangerous! Get them off, get them off, get them off! Let's try looking at the zoo. I'd say the truth just set the animals free. I knew this autocorrect ray would come in handy someday. Right, that'll change the two-mouth Johnny back to the one-mouth flying Johnny we know and love. Let's go get him. Well, they do say the truth will set you free. Yeah, well, they said nothing about setting wild animals free. We have got to find him before the truth sets something else free. We're coming, old lion Johnny! Don't you want to be a real cop? Traffic cops aren't real policemen. Actually, I never wanted to be a cop. I wanted to be a dancer. <laughs> That's better. No, it's not. Something tells me we just missed him. And something tells me unless we find him and shut the truth up, Tune Up Johnny will destroy Pork Belly and possibly Western civilization. Move out! All I'm saying is half of all marriages end in divorce, and you should think harder about marrying this chump. We are looking for a boy who only tells the truth and... Thanks! What do you think of my new shoes? I think they're so five seconds ago. I don't. No, no, they are so un five seconds ago. Why do you say that to her? Because it's the truth. That's why. Yeah, but it hurt her feelings. So what should I do? Lie like you always do? No, but if you don't have anything nice to say, maybe you shouldn't say anything at all, even if it's the truth. How about that? Blah, blah, blah. Not my fault if people can't handle the truth. They'll just have to get over it. Okay, that's it. You're going down. <laughs> no, the truth is, you're going down. So how did the animals escape in the first place? Well, this flame-headed boy... This, this flame-headed boy! This flame-headed boy! This flame-headed boy! I will stop the truth of hurting Bill's feelings! Hey, the truth hurts! Get over it! That is still creepy. Don't just stand there! Do something! You're all ugly! Okay, I'm hating the truth today! Is it gone? Yep. Yes, everything is gonna be okay. And I can lie again. As long as the townspeople aren't still mad at Two-Mouth Johnny. Huh? Uh, they are. We're about to find out the meaning of the phrase, the ugly truth. Ain't that the truth. I got an idea. One of my mouths got us into this mess, and now the other will get us out. I know why you're here, and I just want to say, who cares? <laughs> And I mean, who cares what anyone thinks? Even if it's the truth. It's what you think that counts. You should buy the art you like. Art is in the eye of the beholder. And you, bride and groom, you love each other. And that's all that matters. And Mr. Policeman, you are providing a service people need. And on your free time, dance like the wind. I will. And shoe girl, you walk tall in those heels. They are so you. <laughs> He's right. It's what we think, not what other people think that matters. Wow, truth really is stranger than fiction. <laughs> and the truth is, I learned from this whole thing. From now on, there's gonna be a new and different Johnny. Johnny! Oh no, now what? Did you take our time, Hurdler? No. I thought you learned something from this whole experience. Like not lying. I'm not lying, I'm telling the truth. Let's go put new locks on the lab. Did you take it? Nope. But I did take their freeze ray. Hey, she didn't ask me that, so technically that's not lying. So true. Now, let's go make some ice, dog. We won! We won! Yeah! What did we win? Remember like six months ago we entered our solar?
Solar Powered Bicycle in the Young Inventors of Tomorrow Award Program? It's been so long, I forgot all about it. Blah, 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 genius. Blah, 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 cutting edge. And we, the members of the board of MOSO, will be in Pork Belly today to see this amazing invention and present its young inventor with our trophy and cash prize. Uh-oh, <laughs> I just remembered something, and we have a huge problem. MOSO stands for Men Folk of Science Only. The contest was only for young male scientists. Yep, it's right here in black and white. And that's why we entered the contest under Johnny's name! No one is gonna believe that Johnny invented the Solera bike. Ah, medieval. Fly. Me. Dog. We built a catapult and fired ourselves in it. Like I said, no one will believe Johnny built the Solera bike. But they're coming to Pork Belly this afternoon. He's our only choice. Johnny, you have to help us. We won an award that's only given to men. And in our haste and possible anger, we entered the contest in your name. And now we need you to accept the award for us. Yo, oh, who would give a science award to just men and exclude women? Anyone with a brain? Because boys rule when it comes to science. Uh, your lab's on fire. Johnny, the contributions of women to science are immeasurable. She's right. History is full of great women scientists like Marie Curie, Rachel Carson, Jane Goodall. Yeah, what's in it for me? Johnny, it's a chance for you to help introduce our invention to the people. A chance for you to help save energy and cut down on pollution. A chance for you to help make the world a better place. <laughs> I'm in. Okay, we've done all the calculations, carried all the numbers, rechecked the data, and our findings tell us that because of Johnny's short attention span, attraction to shiny objects, and overall disinterest in most things science, the best way for him to help us fool everyone into thinking he invented the Solera bike is a brain swap. Say what? We'll switch your brain with Susan's, and then she can accept the award in your body. No way! Johnny no like body switching. Oh, would you rather have Mary's body? No! I just want to be in my body so nobody gets this body. Bye! We have a Johnny coupon. This coupon entitles its bearer to make Johnny do anything they want him to do, even if he really, really, really doesn't want to do it. Sign Johnny Tess. Except when it comes to body switching. Now, bye bye Oh, that's cold. Maybe one day you guys will all just help each other out. You know, just to help each other out like normal families. Hmm, probably not. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> okay, now I'm officially freaked out about this. Wow, I never realized how much shorter than us Johnny is. Whatever, freakishly tall girl with no boyfriend. Okay, now that's a little creepy. Why didn't you just dress up like a man? Women do it all the time. Uh, we're scientists and this is an amazing experiment. Of which I don't want to be part of! Oh well, too late. Oh yeah? Well, how about this? <laughs> hey! I can't believe you just did that! Give me my brain back, or I'll do other stuff, like get a tattoo, dye my hair green, or I'll drink this! Well, now what? We can't leave me frozen like that all day. I'll get chill blains or something. Johnny, it's up to you. We can leave you frozen or you can help. Careful with the Solera bike. Hey, Johnny. Ah, you. Ugh. Oh, quiet, you. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, you. Kill. Johnny bro, you want to grab some air on my new longboard? Plenty of room. <laughs> More than you. No, I totally like it more. Don't stop saying that in my body and let go of his shirt. <laughs> you all freaking me out. You are all insane. Can we just go get this lame award? I don't want to be in this body any longer than I have to. I'm back, and it's time for our annual Get Johnny Day festivities. 
any worse? <laughs> Apparently, yes. Ah, oh, my dear Susan Test, I see you're going my way. <laughs> okay, we have to rescue Johnny Susan first and get to the Institute to collect the prize. What about Susan Johnny? We'll worry about that after we get the award. Besides, Johnny's beaten Eugene before. He can do it again. <laughs> I'll let you go if you promise not to bite me again. Or run away from our love. <laughs> okay, if we're gonna fight Zizrar and win, we'll need one of these. Oh, maybe some of these. This, this, and... How about we just use the freeze gun? Works for me! <laughs> oh, 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 this is gonna be the best Get Johnny Day Festival ever! But I Where's Johnny with my body? It's a long story. I'll tell you on the way to the award ceremony. I told you I'm not Susan! You can say it in Johnny's voice all you want, my sweet, but I have eyes and I'm not falling for it. All right, finally! Remember that time I accidentally discovered you playing with your secret unicorn collection? How would I know that unless I was Johnny? Lucky guess? How about the fact that your favorite one is gold and named Ernesta? Ah, oh, Ernesta. <gasps> Johnny, I hit you! I can't believe it! I can't believe... <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I tried to kiss you! Don't remind me. Where's my Susan? And what kind of cruel and scar me for life game are you all playing on me? It's not a game. It was a brain swap, and it's gotta stop. I want my body back. And I want my sweet Susan back. Not that I ever had her. And there you have the Solera bike. Brilliant. Men really are better at science than women, and this proves it. Yes, again, Point Dexter, because that boy is a girl! <laughs> Let me explain. You see, the test girls simply switched bodies and put my dear Susan's brain in the skull of their dim-witted yet sometimes amusing brother and put his brain inside the beautiful cranial cavity of my sweet Susan. A girl invented the Solara bike. This is an outrage. Oh, we almost pulled it off. Two more seconds and we'd be out of here. We're busted. Nice try, little missy. My trophy! My money! My assumption that the field of science is free of gender bias. But Mr. Science Dude, shouldn't science reward achievement whether you're a boy or a girl? Sorry, no. That's the rule. My sisters are amazing scientists. They make cool stuff all the time. Sure, this body swap's not my favorite, but they did it. I say, change the rules! Oh, I second that! So do I! <laughs> enough is enough! She's right! We're mad! And Women rule! It is time to change the rules and take the M.O.S.O. out of the Dark Ages. <laughs> oh, emergency board meeting! <laughs> the board has unanimously decided that from now on, men and women will be eligible for this award. <laughs> So give back the trophy and the check. <laughs> and I'll help out more with the laundry and the dishes. <laughs> cool! Now, I want my body back! Now Mary's got my body? This is so not fair. Let me out! We will! But it is so much easier hanging out with and getting closer to kill in your body than in ours. We should have thought of this years ago. This is so not cool.